stretches. There's really nothing to this. If you ask me. Goddag ja. igen. Ja, hej. Tak for sidst. Ja. Og Og velkommen igen i, til, til øh, det hele. Ja. Til hysterisk, hysterisk. Is, især, ikke også? Ja. Og til John, og til Åge, og til alle jer derude. Og til... Ja, det bliver sjovt. Vi har... Det... Ja, nej, nej. Ja, det er rigtigt. Det er sådan et hysterisk de programmet, hvor det ikke går, som man havde regnet med. Ja. Vel, John? Ja. Og derfor så skal vi se en, en masse sjove eksempler på det. Og hvad skal vi starte med? John, hvis du... Øhm. Jeg kan også helt kort... Nej, vi skal ikke samme banære. Vi skal se lidt blæsevejr. Det er sådan, at det kan gå galt, når det blæser. Derfor skal vi se, hvad der kan gå galt i blæsevejr her eller først. Kommer nu. They were taken to Jackson's Foot Hospital. Hugh Thomas is at the hospital right now. He joins us live. Hugh, what have you found out? Speaking of when, it can be a hair-raising experience. He was elected in 1940 when he first went in. I think it was his personality, his personality, as well as as we covered. Over the page number 12, sheer nectar, eight to one. Well, it can be a hat-raising experience too. And the overhand shot. Det er blæst lige op. <laughs> Blæsevejr, det er blæst op. Åh, hår, det er også blæst af. <laughs> Nej, det er ikke blæst af. <laughs> blæst helt væk. Ja, det skal vi ikke snakke om nu, John. Okay? Blæst over på John. John. Vi skal videre nu. Ikke også? Blæst det tilbage igen. Nej, det skal ikke blæst tilbage igen. Blæst vejr med det. Nej, vi skal lægge op til det næste indslag, John. Det bliver noget practical joke, det bliver meget, meget sjovt. Tror jeg nok, det bliver den amerikanske skuespiller Kirk Cameron, som, øh, som har fået stjålet sin bil, tror jeg. Han har netop fået en ny bil. John, jeg ved ikke, hvordan er, har din nye bil det? Den har øh, lige fået nye smartstriber på <laughs> siderne, og, og ny kødfanger foran dig. <laughs> Så derfor, lad os se, hvordan det går med Kirk Camerons bil her. En lille practical joke, det kommer nu. Our joke starts out at 7 o'clock in the morning at this dealership where Kirk and his mother are dropping off the car for what seems to be a routine service check. Keys in the, you left the key in the ignition, man? Not yet. Okay. How's the car been running for you? Uh, very well. Our cameras are hidden in this van across the street. Don't worry about a thing, I'm going to personally handle it for you. Good. He sure will handle it because he's an actor we hired named John Terrence. And as they drive off in Barbara's car, our joke is set in motion. Now here's the studio where Growing Pains is shot. That's Alan Thicke and Joanna Kearns rehearsing on the set. No, it isn't. It's about you. Right now, TV personality Ray Combs is pretending to do an interview with Alan. One job that I can. Now, in reality, our cameras are shooting over Alan's shoulder so we can get a shot of Kirk, who in just a few moments is going to be called to the phone to get some rather bad news. There he comes. Hello, Kirk. Hi, this is John Terrence from the uh, Honda place. Hi, guys. I'm terribly sorry uh, to bother you on the set like this. Um, I've got some rather bad news for you uh, on your car. Okay. It was stolen from our lot. The police are doing everything. It's on the computers, and they think probably that it's just a matter of hours before they find it. Now, this is the Burbank Impound Center where we've taken Kirk's car, and this is also where our cameras are being set up to catch his reactions. 
Kirk's been called and told that his automobile has been found and he should come here to claim it. Some 50 miles away, our crew found an exact duplicate of Kirk's car and are totally disassembling it. Now, in the meantime, here's Kirk and his mother arriving at the impound center to claim his car. Just a second, please. Everyone in here is an actor. Barbara's asking for the restroom, but actually she's going to the back to be wired with a hidden microphone. All right? So, ma'am, what I'll need you to do is step right across here, and the gentleman in the other station will take care of you. Do you understand? Yes, I think I do. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Kirk sees the cop is tough, so he's going to try and charm him. Hi. I've got a white Honda Prelude. Oh, yeah, the Prelude. Right. Yeah. Right here. This is my little, my first little car. I got stolen today. Uh, can I see your driver's license, please? Sure. Okay. Now, we know Kirk left his keys in the ignition, so we're going to uh, shake him up a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir, so, uh, one important question. Uh, were the keys left in the car at this particular service shop, or did you give them to one of the service personnel? I had the key with me. And mm -hmm. I had the door all locked up and everything. And he said, leave the key inside the ignition. So you didn't hand the key to anyone. You left the keys in the car? He told me to put it inside the ignition. So you left the keys? Right. He said, I said, well, would, you like the key? would you like the key? Just a second, sir. Okay. Just a second. I think we're shaking him up. And you were told to do this by? By the, the man there, the, the, say the service manager. He to leave the car in the ignition. In the ignition. Key in the car. Just a second. Are you that uh, that Kirk Cameron on uh, uh, that Growing Pain yeah. show? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. And listen, my sister watches that all the time. Uh, can I get an autograph for her? Sure. Her name is uh, Cerise. S C. S C. No, that's C with oh. two S's. C. I now look at Barbara biting her finger R. there, trying not to laugh. And that's going to be E and two S's. Okay. Uh, with an apostrophe over the top, right there. That's over it. The second S. She's going to love this. Now, our phony right, cop actor right Wendell here? Grayson is finished with Kirk now, and he's going to lead him to the next phase of the joke. Waiting for Kirk in the claim area is actor Shane McCabe. Now, Ed, Kirk's problems are just beginning. Take care, all right? Okay. Uh, um, we got some, um, we got some personal effects on that one, Ron, that we got to go over with him. While Kirk is signing some forms, we're going to bring out his car. Peace, hi, peace. <laughs> and you'll have to identify those before we can release them um, as part of your automobile. So, what are these here? Oh, uh, that's part of the that's part of the ignition system out of the dash. <laughs> Much. You're probably going to have to get Now, in a moment, we're going to bring out our stripped-down duplicate car. Is the car here? Yeah, the car's here. We'll have him bring... Um, Ron, do you want to bring that uh, prelude around? Yeah, bring it in. Uh, have Dave wheel it in. Now, remember, this is our duplicate car. We got a plate on this one. God, I don't believe it. Oh, they did a they do a number on these. You know, this thing's worth probably about thirty-eight thousand when it's stripped <laughs> Piece by piece, yeah. But this is this is no problem. They can put this back together for you because you've got. They didn't do a bad job with the electrical on this at all. They pulled things out pretty clean. Just lifted the engine. What are you looking for, Kirk? There's nothing left. Well, looks pretty clean. Yeah, like that. clean so as a whistle. It's so fast. It's like, well, they strip them down for the parts, you know. That's how they rebuild them, is they'll turn around and sell the parts to every used car dealer in town. There's nothing inside well, either, Kirk. Strips, strips did, it have, did it have yeah. pads on it or something? Your ID yeah. number's checking out, so it's hard to tell them. <laughs> I've seen him worse than this. You're, I mean, you're lucky. You're lucky. Here's Kirk's real car with his dad and sisters inside to break the joke. <laughs> it really hasn't hit him yet. <laughs> now it has. <laughs> 
There's his mom <laughs> running for cover. A crook has just realized our garage man is an actor. That's Kirk Dad. <laughs> we got you, Kirk. Ja, Kirk, <laughs> det er rigtigt. Kirk, kan man spille det helt skilt ad i små stykker? Hop! Det kan være sjovt. Jeg ved, at John han elsker at skille ting ad i små stykker. Ikke også, John? Jo, skal vi skille den? Nej, vi skal ikke skille den der ad. Fordi at vi skal videre. Hop! Det er sådan, at vi skal se en anden bil lige om lidt, John. En bil, som springer helt i luften. Skal, Men, skal, skal den her også springe op i luften? Nej, det skal ikke helt i luften. Hop! Hop. <laughs> nu skal vi se en bil, der springer i luften. Hop! Lige om lidt. Hop! 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 <laughs> 